What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Please understand this will not apply to every single Capricorn. As every single Capricorn is not going through the same scenario, crosswalkers, anybody outside the Capricorn energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this. Oh, sorry, I heard him. My apologies, y'all. I don't remember where I left off, but please understand this will not apply to every single Capricorn as every single Capricorn is not going through the same scenario. Cross watches anybody outside of Capricorn energy. You're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for its most positive purpose. Spirit tell me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with three of my tarot decks. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And without further ado, Capricorn, I'm talking to you. Let's see what energy we have now. All right, so somebody is either going to be receiving a gift or um, giving one. This could be something small. Usually when I see this card, I think of a small gift, something small, but very much memorable, or it might be small, but it's definitely something that can be utilized. It's not really like a, a trinket or anything like that. So you may be receiving a small gift and it doesn't always have to be anything physical. It could be a small gift of wisdom or, you know, it could be anything, something that may not be used. It could be like a picture or something small, but it, it's very much meaningful. But I feel like somebody might be a little bit concerned about it. I don't know why anybody would be concerned about it, but um, apparently somebody might be concerned about this gift. So when I see this, it kind of makes me feel like, why are you giving me this? Like there's a reason why you're giving me this. So I feel like somebody is giving somebody else a gift, but they don't really know why they're giving it to them. It's like, I'm I'm just, I'm wondering why, why are you giving me this? Or like either that, or why am I giving this to you? Why am I gifting you with anything? I feel like somebody is giving somebody, no, I feel like it's more somebody is giving somebody a gift and the other person is just like, okay, so what is your motive? Like, what is the reason for you giving me this gift? Very excited, y'all. I have my um, metamorphic, it's, well, it's called the, meta, the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle Deck. And um, it was created by Sterling Ethos. I have another deck of theirs, but it was created by them. The deck is so pretty. It's just so magical. It is definitely marijuana um, related. And the cards are so beautiful, y'all. Very beautiful. And they have so much definition, so much meaning. When I opened up my deck, it was so powerful. And at the bottom of the deck for you all, we have gratitude. So, so that goes with this. So I feel like you're wondering why somebody gave you this, but you need to be appreciative for, for whatever reason. I feel like you don't know the motive why somebody is giving you something, but for whatever reason, spirit is saying that you need to show gratitude for whatever it is, because it's more powerful than what you believe it to be, or it'll be more useful than what you believe it to be. It might be small, but it's it 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 has a it has big meaning. It could even be some marijuana. <laughs> That's strong and it's powerful, can be, and it isn't big, you know what I'm saying? But it is something tangible. Okay, we have autonomy. I gotta, you gotta, excuse me. I gotta kind of remember what all of these means. So this is more or less the chariot. This is more or less um, in the deck, the chariot moving forward towards something. So I feel like whatever this is, 
I feel like this is going to just kind of push you towards doing something or some type of forward movement. So somebody might give you a gift and you might get it and just kind of like second guess it. But then it's just kind of like, OK, well, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and use it. It's funny because I'm not going to say exactly who it was, but um, somebody that I know was given mushrooms and they really did it. They did it one time prior, but they didn't remember how to do it and things like that or the effect or the feeling that they were going to get. And so um, when they they and they still they still have it, they're still holding on to it. And so I feel like just just forget that. Just forget that part because I don't really know, remember where I was going with that. But I feel like whatever this is, is just going to kind of push you. I feel like, like I said, maybe you haven't used it or because in that case, she hadn't actually used it. But if she did use it, it would be very powerful and it would it, it has its own effects to it. And I feel like whatever it is that was given to you it's going to just have this effect of, you know, pushing you towards doing something or I feel like you're just going to be enlightened. Somebody might give you some speed or maybe a drink. I feel like somebody might get, somebody will give you something and it's, 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 it's going to concern you at first, but then it's just like, after you, I feel like after you, after you're appreciative for it, you're going to just go for it. So let's just see bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody, somebody, I feel like somebody, I feel like this is kind of like a peace offering. It's kind of like shit. I, I, maybe I messed up on something. Maybe this is somebody at work or this is somebody that you're working with. It could be like you and two other people, maybe your two friends or a teacher or a mentor or somebody wants to give you something. They want to kind of work something out. They want to they want, I feel like somebody wants to bury the hatchet and give you a gift and you're a little concerned about it, but it's like, once you do it, you'll be okay or you'll feel better or you'll be like, well, damn, I should have, maybe I should just did this sooner instead of second guessing it. Because I feel like you're second guessing whatever this is that's being given to you. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, I feel like whatever it is, I feel like to some degree, you're just kind of like you don't, it's like, I didn't ask for this. Like, I didn't ask for this. Like, why are you giving this to me? I didn't ask for this. I feel like you got an attitude right now too. But I feel like you're you're going to appreciate whatever it is that was given to you. And like I said, I really believe you're going to, okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I know what this is. <laughs> Capricorn, y'all something else. Y'all is something the fuck else. All right. So this is one of those situations where I feel like somebody's going to give you something and you're going to be like, why are you giving this to me? And you're going to be like, okay, you know what? I really, I, I really do appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And then you look at it and then you don't use it. You make the wrong decision. So maybe somebody's giving you something and you're not supposed to use it and then you do, which is bad judgment, or you're supposed to use it and you don't. So it's one or the other, because I feel like you're not really making the right decision when it comes to whatever this is. I feel like you're going to decide to do something. You're either going to decide to throw whatever it is away or you're going to use it. But whichever you actually do with it, I think is the wrong thing. So whatever you decide to do with whatever it is this person gives you might be the wrong decision. I feel like you should do the opposite because you're going to move forward. Tommy, this is the chariot. You're going to move forward passionately with whatever this is. I feel like you're going to appreciate it. You're going to tell them, you know what? Thank you. I, I appreciate it and try to give the impression that you're you're cool with it. It's like if somebody at your job, you get into an argument with somebody at your job and they're like, you know what? Here's a piece of cake. I just I went home. I made a piece of cake. I'm sorry about what I did. And you're just like, well, why are you giving me this? Like, why? And they're like, I I'm just sorry for what I did. I just I want this to be like a peace offering. And you're like, 
Okay. All right. Just give it to me. Thank you. I appreciate it so very much. Like, thank you. Thank you. You didn't have to do this, but okay. Thank you. And then you get it and then you throw it away. It's like you take it with the chariot, you move forward in taking it. So it's like, okay, thank you. You take it and then you throw it away instead of trying it. I mean, you don't have to try everybody food, but you know what I'm saying? I'm using that as a as an example. But whatever it is that you decide to move forward and do with it, I think might be the wrong decision. All right, Capricorn, if you don't, you better.